Okay, folks, it's week three of WCW in August. We're on the road with a Clash of the Champions, so let's get rolling for Nitro. Um, so, first up, we've got our uh, weekly tag title match involving the developmental, de ah, developmental women. Um, in this, cheerleader Melissa and Ronnie Jonah defeat Lufisto and Bonnie Maxson in 1511 when Jonah pins Fisto by pinfall. Uh, Jonah gets 33, everybody gets 27s, and this was probably, yeah. It got thing about because face heel combination, but you know, not a terrible thing. Anyway, next up we've got Jack Evans, Yang, and Air Paris teaming up to defeat Eric Cannon, Austin Aries, and Johnny Devine. Uh, Eric Cannon and Austin are one night only contracts. Devine's and Evans are part of my development of Terry. Anyway, 1047, P Air Paris pins Canyon, and there we go. 48 D plus. Um, Devine is not there. Evans is slowly getting there. And then in our closing match of the pre-show, Rob Van Dam and AJ Styles get some ring time, defeating Mike Enos and Dale Torborg in 742 when Styles pins Enos with the Styles Clash. 61C. So yeah, not a, you know, straight ahead match. Then anyway, we actually open the show. Basically, uh, Steiners with Flair have a showdown with Kevin Nash and Randy Savage. They argue, they fight, they brawl. It's your standard issue opening promo from the early 2000s, and you know, everybody just goes crazy. 93A, um, Steiner looked good, you know, um, Flair looked good, and here we go. Got the tag match set up for the Clash of the Champions officially. Then we got our uh, a tag match here where Jason Jett and Jamie Noble defeat Kaz and Elo Skipper in 707 when Jett pins Skipper with Crash Landing. Uh, 61C, uh, Skipper's a little behind because the other, these other three guys are either decent wrestlers or basically part of the mid card. And then after the match, uh, Kaz is upset about Skipper and failing him, and he just kills him with a quick, like, kick to the back of the head. And then he just walks away, staring down at Jet. 30-60 minus. Uh, then we've got uh, Jordan Cole on the beach. Um, that's Kristen Astara, for those who, you know, who are not aware. Had to rename her, because that's not a wrestling name, that's a real name. Anyway, Jordan Cole, beach bay gimmick, gets an average 44-D. Um, then we've got Vampiro. Um, destroying Lash LaRue in 411 with a nail in the coffin. Again, just a total squash, you know, putting over Vampiro. Uh, Vampiro and Lestet do a, another beatdown, and then uh, Vamp ends things by hitting a frog smash on Lash LaRue, then pulling himself, you know, basically making fun of Rob Van Dam. Um, then backstage, we've got a promo where a promo with Stacy's. Uh, going to get revenge for how Lance talk about Stacey Hebler, you know, talks about, you know, Storm, you know, thinking he's something special because he's, you know, been champion a couple of times. Well, Plumbo's, you know, aiming towards the future, and he's going to start by taking out Storm, 67C+. plus. Um, then, Billy Kidman pins Yoshi Toshiri in 635 with Kid Crusher. Uh, just, again, basic straight ahead, mid-card match, Kidman gets the win. Then after the match, uh, Kim goes to take out Tajiri with the chair, but Finley makes a save. Uh, you know, basically, Kim backs away, Finley yells at him. There we go, 62C. Basic setup. Uh, horsemen are backstage. As far as horsemen, it's Canyon, Jared, and Douglas. Uh, basically, you know, Canyon, you know, they pipe up their six-man main event for tonight. You know, Jared and Douglas call Wright and Ray Jr., a couple look lucky guys who are, you know, who... Barely won the titles and lost them quickly. Canyon continues, you know, to treat Sean O'Hare as below him. You know, he says, you know, nobody's better than Canyon, nobody's better than Horseman, and nobody's better than WCW World Champion. 92A. And then uh, Booker G does an in ring, you know, talks about how, you know, thanks, you know, fans for the support they give, he's, they've given him since he lost the title to Canyon. You know, he says he'll be back in the ring with Canyon eventually, you know, but for now he's going, you know, you know, he's going to try to get back in action. Then Mike Austin comes out, you know, basically says, you know, makes fun for being a loser. Then out of, out of nowhere, as Booker T, you know, says he did not just say that when Awesome calls him, you know, a joke. Awesome attacks him. Kick, wham, Awesome Bomb, 96 A-star. Then in a match, we've got Sting defeating Gigantes in 753 by DQ. Uh, when Gigantes was disqualified, when Helms ran in and attacked Sting. So, you know, this is basically Sting versus Big Guy match. Uh, basically, oh, they didn't click. Okay, well, 
Oh well. Uh, also, stings get misleading stale. That explains a lot here. Anyway, 69C+, plus, um, this is just your basic match to you know lead to the Helms match at the pay-per-view. And then afterwards, uh, we have a Helms getting beat down involving Helms. Gigante's Reno and Cash when Air Raid comes in and they, you know, get the save. And they end things out by hitting dives on everybody. 78B. Not bad. Not bad at all. And then, uh, you know, basically after the commercial, Palumbo with Keebler and Luger and DDP have a quick in-ring talking about their six-man match, you know, that's happening right now. 73B- because only DDP is really the great, you know, promo guy here. And then afterwards, uh, Palumbo, Luger, and DDP defeat Lance Storm and Ginger and Stasiak in 925 when DDP pins Stasiak by pinfall with the Diamond Cutter. Uh, 73 B minus, not too bad at all. Especially considering, yeah, that DDP, well, DDP's still doing good. He's getting 71s, but Luger's, eh, Luger's like aiming towards the bottom. Anyway, and then after the match, you know, basically the babies celebrate while the heels are angry outside. 82 B. And after that, in our main event of the evening, uh, Sean O'Hare, Ray, and Wright defeat Canyon, Jared, and Douglas in 1307 when O'Hare pins Canyon with the Wood Wood Maker. So basically, like, this is just a wild six man brawl to end things, and then basically Canyon just walks right into the Widowmaker Maker out of nowhere, and O'Hare gets the pinfall. And yeah, that got an 86B. Plus. So, really good show, and we were just building to the pay per view. Um, so, yeah, we've got. Uh, one week, you know, one more Nitro, then we've got the actual pay-per-view, and then that's that. So let's just see what Raw did uh, for their go-home show. Oh, wow. Okay, that's interesting. Triple H got injured again. That's funny. I mean, almost sad, but like, in let's see here. Nope, okay, just normal people wanting out of developmental. Let's just see here. Raw is war. Okay, so... Uh, DX defeating the APA, Austin defeating Blackman, Edge defeating Kurt Master Sexy, uh, Eddie Guerrero defeating Kurt Angle. Okay, that's actually a really good match, and that's probably why they beat us in the in, in the you know ratings. Anyway, um, that's all for now. We got one more week, so one more Nitro, then it's Clash of the Champions. Um, if you've enjoyed this, go ahead and give it a like, comment what you liked and didn't like, and if you're you know enjoying this whole series, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thanks and adios. See you later.